Howdy everyone, Scott Free For All here. We're back on Osada. Uh, we are exactly where I left you last time. So it's uh, late afternoon, same day. Some things I want to do before we advance the day. So I'll go over those with you. So if we look at our map, what we did last time we were together is we put lime on field 31 and field two, and we cultivated them. So they are ready to be seeded. We're gonna seed field 31 with canola. And we'll wanna do it today before we go to the next day because it's just August that you can plant canola. So we're gonna do that. In order to do that, we'll need to buy some seed and some fertilizer. So we'll do that. And then also, I want to make sure that we have a contract for tomorrow. And I looked at the contracts, and I see that field 75 needs to be harvested. There's oats over there. And uh, we do have the equipment to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that contract so it'll be available to us for tomorrow. All right, we've done that. Let's go get in our pickup so that we can get seed and fertilizer. Now you see we have lime here in the truck. We need to get that out so that we can load up some seed and fertilizer. Unfortunately, I don't have a front loader for this tractor. In fact, it cannot be configured for one. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a trick to get this unloaded. What I'm going to do is load up our spreader with lime and then I'm going to automatically unload it into pallets. So I don't know if that's like cheating or whatnot, but it's really the only option that I have right now, unfortunately. Okay, I was able to unload it up against the house. Not an ideal place, but we'll go with that. And I'm just going to keep repeating this until we have the pickup truck completely unloaded. So yeah, not ideal, but... We got it done. There. All right. Great. Let's go get in the truck. Let's pick up our seed and some fertilizer. I'll see you back at the dealership. All right, here we are at the dealership. Let's buy some seed, fertilizer, we'll get it loaded up. And... I'll go ahead and buy two bags of seed. Fertilizer, two bags as well. I'm thinking that's gonna be good enough to get all three of our fields seeded, ultimately. Now, one thing I want to do as soon as we can is upgrade our Zetor tractor. And there is a bigger Zetor model. And 
I think that that would take care of most of our needs. It'll give us the ability to uh, have a front loader. It'll also give us a little more power to pull a bigger uh, mower, baler, and other, and other things. So I'm hoping that we can earn, it's going to be, I figured it out, it's about $42,000 uh, if we trade in the tractor that we have, we can get that bigger one. And that's going to give us quite a bit more horsepower. We'll be able to uh, put a front free point on it. It's just going to open up a lot of things. So I think that's going to be our next major purchase. Okay, that was a close one. All right, we'll put this over here. Get these strapped up. And that is a little precarious. With the seed sitting there on the side of the bed. But we'll just drive carefully. I'll see you back at the farm. Okay, we've made it back to the farm okay. Excellent. Okay, we're going to get the cedar attached to our tractor. And we're going to start putting canola down. Alright, we're loaded up with seed. Let's configure this for canola. There it is. All right, I'll make us a nice montage. We're going to have to go one direction because I don't have enough power to get up the hill with this cedar, unfortunately. We are really struggling. I'll see if I can improve the situation. So, as I suspected, this cedar requires 125 horsepower. Our tractor has 75 horsepower. I'll see if there is another cedar that could work for us. Okay, we are back at the dealership. Let's get this returned. We can return our cedar right here. I've already emptied it of seed. All right, we'll actually get a good bit of money for that. All right. And 
Let's see what's for sale. Okay, we have a few options. We can afford this. Uh, this case seater requires 60 horsepower. That's right at the max of what we can do. There's also this John Deere for, that requires 60 horsepower. They're only $6,000. For $7,000, there's this Asaria seater. Uh, I believe it's a German uh, company. Only requires 35 horsepower. So even though it's a little bit more expensive, it's a much uh, smaller seater, only three meters compared to 5.2 for those two. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Buy that. We'll go pick it up and get the seed in the ground before it gets too much darker. All right, let's reload our seed. And let's try again. Even if I try to leave, you still make me want to stay. You ask me to believe in the words that you say, but I can't be strong if you can't move on. Don't you think we've had enough of the trauma? Finally, we had it all beaded. That was uh, a bit excruciating. What we'll do now, we'll head back to the farm. I'll save the game, and then I'm going to advance to the next day. All right, folks, good morning. It is the next day, and we have a lot to do. We're going to get to work on the harvesting contract, the oat harvesting contract that I signed us up for yesterday. Let's look real quick at things. Uh, quick look at our chickens. They are very happy. Uh, food. The food seems to be, um, we seem to have plenty of food for them. And then our fields. Noticed that we have some weeds in field 31 where we planted our canola. So we're going to need to come up with some kind of weeding solution today. Um, if we have time, we will uh, take care of field 14 and field 2, getting them turned over and, and seeded. But for now, let's go get in our combine and harvest field 75 
Okay, we are coming up on field 75 here on the left. I'm just going to jump right in, get this taken care of. We don't need our straw swath, so I'm going to turn that off. Let's get going. Let's go get uh, something to put this oak into. Put this cedar away. We're going to need it pretty soon, so I'm not going to put it too far away. Let's head over to field 75 and I'll see you there. All right, we'll get the combine emptied and then we will continue. Notice that earlier. That's all right. We will shut him off and see where we need to go. We're going to go to the mill trons. Let's let's get over there.
All right, 54% has been transported. Let's get back over to our field where our nearly full combine is waiting to be unloaded. Get the rest of these oats delivered and we'll get all the equipment back to the farm and then we can concentrate on getting our other two fields ready for seeding. I'm going to cross my fingers, turn off traffic, and see if I can auto drive our combine back to the farm. Wish me luck. So there's something going on over here. I'm a little hopeful that maybe we can get some lime over there. I'll have to check out and see what we're able to get. Okay, here we are. Nearly two trailer loads full. Let's see how much extra we get. Okay, contract is satisfied. And an extra $1,220 of harvest income. Not bad. All right, let's get back to the farm. I'll see you there. Well, how about that? Our combine made it home just fine. We'll go ahead and put the combine away, and then I want to look into our weed problem. See what solutions we can come up with. Well, that thing's going to need a wash at some point. I'll take care of that a little later. Right, let's see what we have for weed control. And it has just started to rain. It's a good thing we finished our harvesting when we did. That was good timing. So we don't have a sprayer or a herbicide, and we don't have a weeder to pull the weeds. So we're going to have to buy or lease something. Let's look in the store and see what options we have. So we can use this one. It's not really meant. It's it's really meant specifically for row crops.
I'll go ahead and buy it. Alright, let's go to the store and pick it up, and I'll see you back at the farm. Oh, I really like the sound of the raindrops on the roof of the tractor. All right, let's hope that this works. are done. Weeds are all gone. So with this rain upon us, I think I will call it there and put things away. And it's great that you came along with me today. Hope to see you next time when we will take care of our other two fields. Until then, I'm going to stay out of this rain, and I will see you then. This is Scott Free For All. See you later.